Hey guys, so I've been seeing this challenge going around on YouTube that I kind of wanted to try out. It was called um, a How I Used to Do My Makeup Challenge. And most people that are doing it are doing uh, what their makeup was in high school or middle school or both. Uh, I really didn't have much of a makeup look in middle school. And the first part of it, like, except for like dabbling every so often with some um, lip gloss or some eyeliners and stuff like that, it wasn't until I was around 15 which was when I got contacts and I started experimenting more with makeup and trying stuff out that I actually started kind of developing a, um, a look. Uh, first things first, I already have my nails painted in honor of it so uh, for most of my high school career I did not have very nice nails. I bit my nails like disgustingly far down, bit the skin around that my hands were horrendous in high school. Um, then as my nails started growing out, I started, you know, being able to paint them. When I painted them, I usually either painted my nails like red or silver. I don't know why, but I still kind of, I still kind of like the silver, but uh, yeah. You'll see though that the sparkly theme kind of went for a while. I don't understand. Also, did not have this going on in high school. Did not have long princess hair in high school. I had uh, short hair, which I started off with a kind of bob cut. See, from middle school to about the first year of high school, what I tried to get hairstylists to give me was what Raven had in Teen Titans, which was the very short in back, angled forward, very sharp, blunt bob. Um, I really didn't often have the words to describe it, and at the time that I was in middle school, undercuts weren't a big thing. Like, undercuts were not in style at all, not a thing. So I wouldn't have even known to say, okay, give me an undercut, you know, for that. Just wouldn't have, no clue. Plus, um, I was dealing with my hair suddenly becoming very thick and frizzy, which I had no idea how to deal with. So I would either try to straighten the crap out of it or would just ponytail, ponytail, but let this big frizzy mass happen at the back of my head. I also would have, um, sometimes try to do the two little strands, the strands, you know. I didn't have bangs, so it would be like this, and you know, just a strand, and a strand, and everything else pulled back, but not cute. Also, my hair was dark brown at the time, not red. I started dyeing my hair when I was a freshman in college, so there's that. So first things first, to get this look going, we're gonna have to try to recreate this bob thing I had going on, um, because I let my hair grow out for a little bit, which is when I was doing the ponytails, but then I just cut it all off, and I got kind of like a mod haircut, partially because I was obsessed with the Beatles at the time, still am. But I did a lot in high school, especially after I got my hair cut short, was this. Oh yeah. That actually kind of looks a lot better than what I actually had going on in high school. Because when I first got that uh, mod haircut, really short pixie style cut, they cut it very uneven. So I had this choppy, uneven short hair that I was trying to like hide up with, uh, you know, scarves and headbands and stuff and trying to accessorize basically and it just, ew, it did not work. Didn't wear much jewelry in high school, um, except for, oops, and these are actually probably a little bit bigger than what I would have been wearing in high school, but not by much. I started off in middle school with like really little, little hoops, and then they just progressed, and I just kept doing bigger and bigger hoops and everything like that. And it wouldn't be complete, so in high school I would either wear generally a t-shirt and a zip-up hoodie. This is actually something I had from high school. And this is something I had from high school. <sighs> oh yeah. Army jackets, guys. Gonna wear a pair of jeans, a pair of Vans, have my headscarf in, and my army jacket. And, on occasion, green beret. <laughs> this is actually a slightly better approximation right now of what my hair looked like. Some kind of choppy short bob thing going on. Hell yeah. Let's 
get this tucked away. Who has bangs? Not me. So we're gonna start this look off with eyeliner. Now keep in mind, I didn't have like good makeup or anything like that. Um, my makeup was cobbled together of hand-me-downs from my mom and from like aunts or other female friends of my uh, parents and like dollar store stuff that would be given to me. So the eyeliner that I wore in high school was sparkly and black. Um, and unfortunately, to my great despair, I could not find black sparkly eyeliner, which is a... It's a tragedy, guys. A tragedy. So, we're gonna start, we're gonna go ahead and do where it went, and you know, I'm actually gonna use a mirror for this, because this is difficult. So yeah, we're gonna get right up underneath there. Oh yeah. Smudge that all up, try to get that... as close into the waterline as possible. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because we want to look like we're perpetually tired, I guess. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Mm, except for the fact that it's not sparkly, which is so sad. For colors, this is not the palette that I would have used when I was younger. What I had was like one of those Maybelline kind of things that it had came with like three colors and it had instructions on the back for how to do a dramatic eye or a smoky eye and they were specifically for certain eye colors so I used the one for brown eyes which had a lilac or lavenderish type um, base which I still think is good. Purple is great for brown eyes. I will still use uh, lighter purple tones and rose tones on occasion but yeah so now we're gonna get into but I would do, I would do like, I would follow the same instructions every day, like this is how I'm going to have, this is how you're supposed to do it, you know, lilac on the lid, dark brown in the crease, light brown up to the brow bone, which is probably still good, but it's not like my blending skills were anywhere near anything good. So I'm going to use the lightest purple we've got in this palette, and oh yeah, oh yeah, get that, get that lilac-y goodness on me. Mmm. white. Yep. And then we're going to take the darkest brown in this palette, use the same, make sure to use the same brush or the same, you know, applicator because you don't have brushes yet, 16 year old Ellie. You don't even have any clue what that could possibly mean. Oh yeah. Right, right, yep. Freak out a little bit because that's so dark. That's so dark. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to use your fingers. You're supposed to use your fingers and flip out and basically wipe all the makeup away. Now you're going to use the lightest brown, brownish color you can find, which in this case is a copper. That's fun. I like copper. Do you like copper? I like copper. Copper is a good color. It makes me think of foxes. Yeah, foxes. I like foxes. Hell yeah! You can't see it too well because, um, unfortunately my lighting, oh, yeah, that probably would have been something I would have walked around with all day in high school. That dark smudge right there. For mascara, um, nothing fancy. Found this LA Color one at the dollar store. Would have probably been something I used back in the day. Probably not exactly. I think, um, Use something that didn't actually have a label on it. So we're just going to do the tips of the tips of the eyelashes because um, I've always had really dark, long eyelashes, and thought, oh, I only need a little bit of eye of mascara. Um, and nowadays, I'm like, fuck, I love mascara. These th these things are long. Watch them be better. Watch them be longer and better. So just the tips, and we're going to do we're going to do the trick our mom taught us taught me, which is. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Don't forget the bottom one. Bleep, 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 bleep. Hey, mascara is done. And now, hooray! We're gonna curl it. I did have an eyelash curler when I was in high school. And now, lips.
Oh, lips are important. So I didn't really wear lipstick at the time. I wore lip glosses, uh, usually like tinted in pinks or like light, you know, like reddish tones. Most of it matched my, my lips. Uh, or I would use like um, flavored lip balms and stuff like that. That was one of my favorite things to do to have. I had like this cherry vanilla lip balm that I loved using because it had a little bit of gloss to it. I thought it was so fancy and so tasty. And I used to make sure I'd put that on before I'd kiss my boyfriend at the time. One of my favorite things to do was to put on like a tinted lip balm or lip gloss and then put this clear sparkly lip gloss I had directly over it. Layering stuff. Layer layering was big, guys. Layering, you know, you layered your shirts, you layered your bracelets, you layered your necklace, you layered your hair. So I couldn't find the exact like, kind of stuff that I would have used at the time. I did find this though, which is pretty magical. Ah, ah, yeah. And it actually gives a pretty good approximation of what it looked like at the end after I had put the clear gloss over, like the reddish. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Make sure you have a ton there. You really want that color to come through, guys. You really, really wanted that color to come through. Everyone needs to know that your lips are glossy. So, still not done, guys. Still not done. Um, and if you think that means I'm going to do anything to my eyebrows, you are wrong. Uh, at the time, I didn't know doing your eyebrows was really a thing, except for having, like, over-plucked and then drawn in eyebrows. Uh... Which is what some people did, like ha having like actually drawing your eyebrows in a little bit like was not um, a thing at all. At my high school anyway. So I didn't do anything to my eyebrows besides uh, the regular grooming of them. And I still don't mostly because I still really don't know how to. And I also really don't want to. So that's that. So nothing happens to the eyebrows. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why I used to do this. So after everything is all done, you know what needs to complete this look? Glitter. I had a vial of silver glitter and that would go Oh, felt some hit my nose. Wow, I just had an instant flashback. If I get this around the house, my dad is gonna have like, uh, my dad is gonna have like forcible flashbacks. He's gonna be displeased. Yes. Now this is actually a little bit more um, of like a sticky, like not an actual just glitter, but it gets the job done and kind of gets what I want to get across basically. Because uh, really, it really was just a vial of body glitter. Um, or that probably could have been used as craft glitter actually, because it was just loose glitter, loose glitter um, that I had from my makeup bag. Uh, let's see other things. Now for a great while in middle school and high school, I looked, I took pictures and I went like this. Yep, super serious, just... If I smiled, it was... Because for some reason I hated how I looked when I smiled and I just could never seem to smile naturally in pictures. And for the most part now, I also, I don't smile a ton um, in pictures I take of myself. I try to smile a lot. Oh yeah? That working for you? It's working for me. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that was how that went. Oh, also, this this was a choice. Um, I'm gonna show you what I would do sometimes, okay? I would just be walking to school all regular looking like this. Get to uh I'd get into homeroom, I'd go to the bathroom, and I'd come back looking like Hey! <laughs> uh, 
Um, I thought that I was so cool. Um, you know, granted, I can still see myself doing this for like a costumey type thing, doing a Horace's eye um, underneath my eye, or just to like have it complete like a look if I was trying to go for something really like artsy and like black and with fringe and stuff like that, which I've been known to do. Um, but yeah, literally, I would go and I would do this, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, and I, I would wa I would walk around like this. So that's about it. This is this is how I kind of would have looked like in high school, probably rounder face a little bit. I would have looked even younger than I do right now, guys. Which I know that seems crazy, but I would have looked even more like a little kid. Don't ask me how it's possible, but it is. Uh, so yeah, so this is about it. I'm kind of interested to see if any of you guys try out this kind of a video because I would love to see what some of uh, your high school looks are because I think it would be it would be really interesting because I know we didn't all start off doing um, perfect cat eyes and having our brows filled in or anything like that. Some of us were doing weird shit like this. Mm -hmm. Don't lie to me. I know you are. I know you guys wanted to draw weird shit under your eyes. Anyway. So, yeah.